think it has to be form. I think you've got to go back through horses form, all the different strands of form, how it runs at the track, the jockey, you have to take so much into consideration. And I think the crucial thing is, not just to focus on one horse, but try and suss out every horse in the race and figure out how many horses you have to beat, how many horses have a chance in the race. There's so many different avenues to explore. And I think it's all about time. You have to give it plenty of time. You can't be rushing these things. So form for me and time. The jockey is very important and for a couple of reasons. I think one of the reasons is certain jockeys get on well with certain types of horses. So if you mightn't like a jockey, but they might get on well with a horse. Um, for argument's sake, this season, Anne O'Brien has been terrific on front runners for Aidan O'Brien uh, in, in, in maidens, in handicaps. She just seems to get a tune out of them from the front. So while you mightn't be an absolute huge fan of Anne O'Brien, she does get a tune out of quite a few horses. Um, as regards jockeys, sir, we're blessed with some terrific jockeys. Um, Ruby Walsh is the best we'll ever see. So obviously, if Ruby Walsh is, is riding a horse, you're obviously thrilled. Um, it would take it would take a lot for me to be put off one. It would want to be a really bad jockey. So while I would place a lot of emphasis on a jockey, it's not the most important factor for me. Well, fortunately enough for me, I think that it's part of my job. So it's obviously key for me to keep up to date with results, with videos. It's very, very important that you keep up to speed with everything that's going on. So in a sense, it's part of my job. So I, I should be doing it during work. So I think that's the crucial factor. I watch replays. I watch at the races. I watch Race in UK. I try to watch as many races as I can. And I suppose that, that certainly helps in the form study. All of the above. I think you can't pick out one or two things. I think you need to take everything into consideration. You have to, visually, you have to make your own opinion up about a race as well. It's okay seeing the facts and figures and ratings and top speeds and all that, but you have to see something that you like in a horse as well. And visually, sometimes you might see a maiden and a horse might have won by a neck and it might have only beaten a horse that's rated 56, but you think that that horse has far more improvement than it showed in that race. So you've got to believe your eyes as well. I think it is crucial. You have to trust your own opinion and believe your eyes. That's a very hard question to answer because different races bring about certain things that are more important than others. So for argument's sake, at Sandown, if you're in a sprint, obviously the draw is hugely important and you want to be next to the rail. If you're drawn either centre of track at Sandown in a sprint, you've basically got no chance whatsoever. Same at Chester. So with different tracks, the draw is more important. You can't be drawn wide in Chester. I fancied a few horses at the May Festival at Chester that were drawn slightly wide, maybe six or higher, and they just never got into the race and they're constantly racing. You need a horse to... To, to, to gradually work themselves into a race. So the draw certainly is, is a big factor, but again, it depends on the tracks. I'm extremely forgiving, really, really forgiving. I'd like to think that it's one of my best traits in life, but in racing, it's also a trait that can, that can send you over a cliff. And um, if I like a horse and it lets me down, I'll certainly give it a chance or a second chance or a third chance maybe even a four chance, maybe even a fifth. I'm very forgiving. Um, I think Billy Lee rides Killarney better than anybody. There's a lot of festivals coming up at Killarney and Billy Lee has a brilliant strike rate there. Um, I just think he knows the track inside out. He times his challenge to perfection. In 2016, he had five winners from just 12 rides. That's a 42% strike rate. That's a really good record. I think he was plus 12.75 or something profit. I just like the way he rides the track because jockeys get sucked into going too early there. I think he's he's a he's quite a patient rider. He suits Killarney. So if you see Billy Lee on a fancy runner at Killarney, my advice would be get stuck in. On the first day of the Cheltenham Festival in 2016. I actually tipped the last six winners, so I had six out of seven that day, which was absolutely fantastic. Obviously, uh, Duvan, Vroom Vroom Mag um, were, were both quite short, Any Power was that day, but uh, it rolled on into the latter stages as well because I was really, really keen in Manila Rocco in the 4 Mile National Hunt Chase, 
and Bally Alton also won the Cl Close Brothers Novice Handicap Chase. So it was just one of these days where everything clicked and especially for, for racing journalists and tipsters, if you, you can crack the code on the big day, it's all the better. So I would say uh, day one of Cheltenham 2016.